Check the red item. Get out. He one's getting trucked. Yep. They are. Kind of funny, actually. I don't know why the fuck they're getting trucked. Tomorrow will be an insane match. Faker versus Showmaker. Who will win? Showmaker. What is this? In case you missed it, what? Apparently, LS is being taken advantage of by bootcamp wings that he hosts in Korea. Someone ripped out the graphics cards from his CPUs. From his, play, from his PCs. And now they he discovered that the monitors he lent out were sold and swapped for cheaper, lower quality ones by boot campers. Now, who the fuck is doing this? Ladies and gentlemen, we are here after the series has been all tied up. Gen G managing to take one over Hummer Life East. Who the fuck is doing that? Around, felt like it wasn't necessarily quite as clean as we no, as people hating. saw earlier on. And maybe saw from both of these teams. Learn how to ignore negative comments. Yeah, I'll be on it. I'll be on it. Uh, I, I want to drop. I, I appreciate the yeah, post. So I want to drop everything from what happened. I just want to move on and, everyone and go is, next. This is not looking like a go next. Of the teams on a regular. Day. Jojo like, was typing to fudge the entire time. Five, five head. Uh, what, what could have been game losing Import slop. Bye bye. Uh, we've seen Lahens really continuously struggle. There seems to be a trend so, ATM to post penguins to break up so the TO messages here. It's penguin. Hedro when Dumb one on T1 happens like because he's both of their lawyers. How should we name the Rats the Nest? Proposal. We should adapt the Chinese term mention meta where esports celebrities collaborate in stream and name each of the mentions. We currently have the Big Beast mention, Doinbi, and Zitai's mention. How should Kato's mention be named? La Casa de Pedro? Really work the way he mentioned he this is a one bedroom sense. apartment like Arasaka I'm not living on my fucking Rolls Royce like Doinby get out there so, Yo, everyone's saying like Kajal did a really good job of that interview and really I appreciate that I don't really feel like I did much I just kind of sat there and Reckless was just going you know like um I felt really comfortable just like I asked some questions here and there but I think he he carried it all himself like especially like the session, I don't want to take credit for it. I don't want people to say that I'm a crazy good interviewer. I just, I don't really think I had to say anything really. He just kept going. I just let him speak, you know. I just let him speak, and I didn't want to interrupt his thought process of just going. So I just let him go. It's really tough to play throughout the Zenji. Thank you for the interview, Amish love. As rumors said, K Corp and Giant X are looking for a new top laner, bro. If K Corp and Giant X need a new top jungle, yeah. Pull me up. Make a mistake Pull me up. Like, me and my boy will rock up, yeah? If you're on the free trophy, Pedro comforting struggling people using chat GPT. It wasn't necessarily as one side as I think they might want it to be, but they kissed the dragons. And crucially, we haven't really talked about him that much yet. Uh, okay, some of these I did off stream and some of them I did on stream. Okay, we won't get into it. JDG Yegao on his pre game ritual. I just light a cigarette, drink a can of Red Bull, and I'm fully buffed. Bro, Yegao, you're such a fucking. You're such a fucking beast. They donated. $8 and says thoughts and on Reaper and Thanatos on joining Cloud9. Thoughts on Reaper and Thanatos joining Cloud Yeah, fucking mega upgrade. I don't think I don't think Mithy was that bad, and I think Fudge was okay, but like Thanatos is I think bro, I'm I'm a Thanatos fanboy. And uh, yeah, I guess they got Reaper because they have so many Koreans on the team now. How many Koreans do they have? They have two Koreans. Wait, where was Reaper before? Because Reaper is really good for like I feel like teams that have Koreans and English players need a Korean coach or something. Because having a translator is one thing, but having a coach who speaks Korean and English is important. Like, for example, T1 Academy has uh, GBM for Reckless, right? I think C9 having, for Thanatos, whose English is probably pretty poor, having a Korean coach is really important. It was in LJL. Genji playoffs win rate since 2022. Lost to T1. In spring finals 2022. Lost to T1 spring playoffs round three. Won everything else. The Thanatos aiming rumor. I get that aiming is really popular, but I'll tell you that's a lot of people saying Chronicler said that he's why Thanatos isn't on DK and he's also unverified rumor in a way so it's taken out of context. Uh Deft's response to Reckless inviting him to dinner? Wait, Deft responded? Reckless said you're scared to dinner. It's scary because we can't communicate. Why is my English getting worse day by day? Is it because I don't use it? <laughs> oh shit, Deft responded. Hey yo, what is this? What is this? Okay, the image was deleted, it said. Going back through the draft music and found this banger. 
Oh, that's a classic. Oh, that's a classic. That's a classic. NA can win MSI. Is it just me or out of the four regions, TL is the only team that has won convincingly? Every other team looks scrappy. Uh, okay. Well, you have to like zoom out a bit and you have to ask yourself like, um, why is TL... Like, you can't take another region being scrappy and say that they're bad. It just means that they have more top-heavy competition, probably. It doesn't mean that the team is just that much better domestically. Like, <laughs> there's so many avenues for this. There are so many avenues for that take. But, uh, yeah, uh, we'll see. I'm, I'm an I'm a APA fan. I'm an APA fan. Yo, I'm actually a fan of a lot of teams going to MSI. The EU teams, APA. And whatever else the team goes is going to be PogChamp. And I hope Top Esports go as well. Even if T1 don't go, if Top Esports goes and Dam1 goes or something, it's already fucking stacked. Is this a door and apology thread? This game was Ways to improve. I'm playing every day and I'm wanting to learn and try. Bro, it's, it's my dream to go pro. No, it's your dream to go pro? Uh, this really I'm running out of time and I'm getting older. You're 17. And your heart stuck gold to plat. Bro, I don't want to be that guy, but you're young, you're 17, and you're in gold plat. I think just give up. Just go into... Don't waste your life away. I think you're... you're. It's already a bit too tricky. Like, seriously. For you to get... Listen, I'm I, I'm going to keep it real. You're 17, and you're, and you're gold to plat. It's going to take you at least a year, maybe two years to get the challenger. If you're, like, h hardcore grinding. And then it's going to take at least another year or two years to get into a top tier ERL team, maybe slash like an LEC tryout. It's going to take you maybe until you're like 21, 22 for even, to even possibly have a chance. So, um, I mean, if it's, if it's your dream, 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 then keep going. But I would say it's already really hard. But I would also say if you really want to go, give it one more year. Grind till you're 18. If by 18 you're not master, promise me you'll give up. Get, get Master at 18, uh, or give up. I'm sorry. I don't want to be that guy. Team Heretics flag it on being bold. <laughs> Reckless Cajal gift exchange. Oh yeah, that's where Faker got a, a, a plant. Reckless, here's a jacket. Cajal, here's a water. Instantly made me think of Faker Cap's gift exchange. Okay, shut up. Yamato listening to Pedro and Reckless talk about Fnatic. Yeah, I can imagine. Like, you're normal team, everyone's playing. And you're sitting there in the shadows, like, yeah. I'm screwed. Yeah, most of the time I was thinking to myself, I... The kid was on Fnatic! True, bro, there's a Fnatic logo right there! Here today, <laughs> I know I made the right decision. <laughs> yeah, Mato, shut up. <laughs> say the carry. Let's say the same situation plays out. I am benched. Mm. It comes out that I'm benched. I yeah, Mato, shut up, shut up, shut like up. a little bit of the, the, the uh, miscalculated from the... Yeah, Mato, uh, shut uh, up! Uh, shut up, bro. Riddle of the day. I started my career in 2014 and every game for my team, even after they rebranded, until I was finally subbed out in 2020. I was nicknamed Saint gun bro before i swapped roles and recently became the 12th player in my region to reach 4,000 assists i'm one of the non-korean total laners to win worlds who am i blandre mm. yeah good one i didn't know that one uzi finally wins worlds uzi on why did ale send this to me on my birthday no it's a photoshop of him winning worlds or what or is it just him lifting the msi title what is this? Database update. Jacob Yamato Mepti has been removed from the Carmen Corp. Oh shit. Oh, I appreciate all the, the posts. I appreciate all the love posts, by the way. Okay, someone says check out this interview. It's crazy. Okay, what is it? All right, joining me after the LCS finals is my MVP vote. Absolute robbery. <laughs> Let's start there. Uh, <laughs> it is uh, inspired. Uh, is it Casper Sloma? Yeah. Sloma. Yeah. Casper inspired Sloma, my MVP. Inspired fumes uh, about vegan midplay. That was pretty crazy. It, it went to quid. Yeah. I feel like 
River stole some votes from you because he was very good at that team too. And when you look at the other parts, which is what I've learned from other voters, must be fun having Spider teammate. If you, you win, he takes all the credit. If you they lose, it's your well, fault. Which I understand, but you were so suffocating. That's the best word for a jungler that's dominant. It's suffocating. And I thought you were super suffocating. What do you think of it? Yeah, I mean, I think I didn't have uh, many bad games in the regular season. Like, I think even if the games were losing, it was usually not because. I was playing bad or I was not oh decisive God. or something like that. I mm. think I was playing very well every game. And when we played oh against 100 Thieves, to me, it felt like Quid is like really pussy player. Like he's just farming his minions, not trying to win the game. Like he was basically a player that does nothing and wins if you int into him. You know what I mean? Mm. Like he's not like the he player. Throw, is, he, is he throwing a tantrum in the interview? Yeah, he would, he, punish. he would punish if you int, yes. but he will not create opportunities. Like Jojo, for example, he's creating opportunities. When I play, I also try to create opportunities. I think mid lane has so many possibilities to create stuff because mid lane has TP, that's the first thing. He has TP all the time on the map. He Right now, meta is NG champs, Ani, mm -hmm. Ari, Talia, everything. So as mid laner, you can create stuff if you are if you are good. And against Quid, I just felt like he was just farming. And then if you feed into him, he will just become strong and then obviously he will kill you. So. I didn't, I didn't think he's good. That's why for me MVP was either me or, or Jojo. I still think Jojo is really good. So, so yeah, but I see why people voted for him. I don't really mind. Uh, I would be kind of sad getting MVP and then playing like this in final. I think I didn't, <laughs> I didn't play too well today. I mean, I didn't play bad, but I think when hey, I- Where does he flame Jensen? I'm, I bro, actually, I actually like a little bit. Of, I like I it. A little bit of stronger for it. Like a little bit of drama, bro, on the, the timeline. Game three and game four. I think if I was more like decisive, we, we could have won. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking too. I was like, mm, not not quite MVP of performances, but you, you played on Vi game one, and then you went Lee I mean, Sin, Diego, game Lee one, Sin. Game one was not my fault. Game one was just Jensen's fault. I think he just played like vegan. Yeah. And our bot lane was inting. Yeah. And okay, I think okay. Li listen, I, I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna drama farm. I'm just being I'm being honest. Like I think uh, maybe some people don't realize, but in EU at least. Um, players are really, really um, open. They are really direct. Like, you would be surprised in scrims. If you're playing scrims in EU teams, if you're inting, you're getting called out. If you're fucking... If this happens, you're getting called out. So, I can see Inspired. That exactly what he just said is what someone would say after a scrim game. They would say, like, my mid lane, you're just fucking inting. Like, they, they're not going to sugarcoat shit. And I think that's just the normal way of speaking for EU players. So far, it's not too bad, actually. I don't think what he said is that bad. Jensen's fault. I think he just played like vegan. Yeah. And our bot lane was in thing. Yeah. And game two, I think we all played pretty well. Game three, I think it was my fault on the top fight. And I, I was just... You vegan. see how he, like, blames someone, but then he also blames himself? You know, like, it's just classic EU screams. And there, like, I, I don't even... Like, we were running on the TF that had no flash. And Jensen was not flashing instantly. So I, I didn't know what he wants to do. Like when I was running, I was thinking maybe I will just ult flash and just slow him with Viego. But then I was like, maybe surely Ani just ult flash. Ani doesn't ult flash. And then we see Jax in lane and then Ani ult flash. When I was like already trying to kind of back up. But I think if I just keep going forward, we'll win that Suit up, buddy. I will get a lot of gold there instead of Jax getting a lot of gold there. And we will be able to win the game. I think that was like a pretty vegan play by me there. And then in team fights, vegan I think play by me. Play what is? Because we told him. Like, why is vegan his new favorite word? It was a vegan play by me. I get it if you're building vegan items, but what do you mean it's a vegan play? Just don't ult TF. He has QSS. Just ult anyone else, and we get the reset. And in the last team fight, he ulted the TF that had QSS. So like that was pretty well played by Impact. Hmm. Like he knew he will mind control Jensen to ult him. He legit, <laughs> he legit ulted on top of him. Ulted on top of him. Got ulted and then flashed uh, cleans away like a uh, QSS flash goes away. That was that was like a world class performance by Impact because he just legit tip it on top of money to force him to ult him and then he knew that even if he dies they will not lose but he has QSS and flash so he will escape. So he played very well that game and game four uh, we got a really big lead. I think Jensen just misplayed level four like he shouldn't play so fast like we we. Talia was really low with My guy is VOD reviewing the whole series in his head like in an interview. Because we already won the fight on Raptors. So he to save this for behind the scenes. I think we will be Thanos mid jungle for the rest of the game. But we died, we slowed down the game. Our bot lane managed to find a good dive, then we dived them again. And then I think the TP advantage from, from Buipo came into the play. I mean, from, from Impact. Impact just. Yeah, we'll, we'll watch that later maybe. He's just. I don't know, does, does, he, does he get really toxic or something? He's just water viewing the whole series in his head. 
Bro, I'll never... I'll never understand why, like, fans truck teams for their drafts. It's like, they're probably fucking bronze, and then they're trucking them for their drafts. Like, bro, shut the fuck up. Why trucking them for their drafts? They, they were screaming, they had a plan, they came with a plan, the plan didn't work, and then your fucking bronze ass is saying your draft was bad? Shut up. The fuck is that dog shit ass fucking... Fuck. Is this just today? Today the T1 office is being trucked. Imagine being a T1 player right now. You're getting flamed for saying you're getting DDoSed for losing a series and not praising enemy team. You're getting perma DDoSed so you can't play and now you're getting trucked by your fans. Bro, <laughs> give him a break. Okay, people keep want people keep asking me to carry on watching this video. They're like, just check it out, check out the info. What did he say? Just played TP and just never TP to top. He just perma kept it to not let not let us make plays. And yeah, we just couldn't snowball too hard. And then I think in the team fights maybe we misplayed. I don't remember what they say in game four. I, like I would need to review it, but for sure we. This thing has 800 comments on Reddit. Like that's crazy. Misplayed to me. some kind of team fights. I think I was not too happy with how I played in game four. Um, but yeah, I think. Just, just, I don't know, after I made that mistake in game 3 that we were not decisive to kill them on topside, I was like, oh my god, why am I still vegan? And then I just couldn't really focus for the rest of the game. I don't know why. It's kind of weird, but I think it's... I'm he loves the word vegan. Was that a, a true example of tilt? Like, do you think... Like, yeah, I, yeah, maybe, but... Not like really. another level of tilt, right? Because usually yeah. when we think of tilt... He says the like, word vegan every angry, sentence. You know you're angry, but fuck it. But yeah. this was like, <laughs> I'm in finals, you're a champion. Yeah. You know how to do it, and you still... There was like yeah, a little off. Yeah, I just like, I didn't go for the play and then I kind of didn't have that clutch factor for the rest of the game. I like, mm. I like made mistake and I was like thinking, okay, I mean, uh, it's fine. Obviously it's fine, but we could have still won the game. But uh, I don't know, I didn't focus 100%, I guess. And uh, it's fine if you don't focus 100% and you- Oh wait, we're in draft already? Oh no, we're not. You can still win if your teammates will carry you. But I think I didn't focus 100% and my teammates also didn't carry me. So we lost fights. Like I played mediocre fights after. I think my teammates like Jensen played kind of bad in the team fight. So we Jesus. lost. But I know that if I played better in the first fight, that the team fight would be just free wing. So it, it's it's on me. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think I just need to play on top of my game if I want to win. I, I can't be just a passenger in the game. Mm. So if I make mistakes, it's it's my fault, I guess. When uh, I mean, he's flaming Jensen, but he's also flaming himself a bit. This is your first time losing a series. Right, <laughs> which is yep. the frustrating part of being on the upper side of the bracket. Yeah, uh, you're a direct guy. Do you have these same type of conversations with Jensen, who is a veteran, and you assume can take these types of conversations? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Jensen is not used to playing this way. I think he always had vegan teammates. And who played for him? <laughs> no, like I think he, like his teammates were never good at making, never good at making space, never good at playing aggressive. Like, mm. I think he's just not used to playing the game this way. Like, uh, you just right keep saying I'm vegan. Him and I'm telling him that his health bar is like his resource. Like he can use his health bar in the team fight for the team. Like even if he dies, casts every spell, his teammates, if they play well, they will win the fight for him if he engages a good fight. And uh, sometimes uh, like mm. you see him a lot using TP or like even running top to roam. It's usually coming from me and Buipo calling him to do that because we try to tell him that mid lane is not just like one to one lane. You can actually impact the game and make the game so much easier for everyone else to play. And I think it's just completely new style for him because before it was just he's just playing in an A, just last hitting minions and whatever happens happens. But right now we are just trying to create Jesus. opportunities and play as a team. Well, in team fights, take space for each other in early game, like help each other in lanes, like take over lanes if someone is losing so the guy can get relieved and like play the, his lane again. And uh, it's for sure more hard because. Uh, there's an action going on all the time. And uh, if you fuck up your tempo, we are all gonna flame him because we can't play the game because he fucked up his tempo and he doesn't wanna help them up. So it takes time to, to learn that. I think we are good at it. We just kind of choked today. Chat, stop saying what the fuck. Like he is, okay, he is, this is just a classic EU scrim culture. You finish a scrim and this is exactly how they talk. This is literally how every EU scrim block Free gip. Well, maybe not nowadays, but back in back in 2019, 2020, 21. This is at least from my experience. This is how every EU player used to talk to each other. Who uh, 
who helps he's just reviewing the game in the head and he's saying it in an interview. And who do you think helped? Obviously, he shouldn't do this, but that's basically what he's doing. Uh, that might be a stretch. But. I don't know. I think we are just me and Butpar just really good at the game. That we just uh, know how to create opportunities for each other. Like, uh, like Butpar will trade. Oh, he's really when, cocky. It's when crazy. When it's good for the game. Sometimes, I mean, obviously, we make mistakes. Like, I think I made some mechanical mistakes. I think Bipo overplayed his lane. Like, when, like, Cassante already tipped back up. to lane, Bipo still has TP. So he knows the proper play is just walk out, base, TP, and his lane is still in a good position. But he, like, tries to squeeze in extra, squeeze the extra, extra yeah. wave <laughs> and then base. And I think it will work against vegan players that will be scared to oh, impact. I think, but impact. Can we get a vegan so counter impact, in this interview? Impact is good. Like, he is not vegan at all. If he sees, <laughs> if he sees that you are making a mistake, he will just he will just punish you. It's a carnivore. Yeah. So he played well there. Uh, who teach me and Bipo? I don't know. I think it just uh, comes. Is it a European thing? It, about I that? think it's just maybe European thing, but uh, yeah, I think it's for sure European thing. Thing. I think in a night people are just not playing the game like that. I think right now TL is playing the game full tempo like every other team in the league they are not playing well as a team with each other but in TL you can see that they're playing like an LPL team and they're yeah. trying to help each other all the time and play with tempo camp on their vision camp with brushes mm. uh, group a lot and try to engage the fights and uh, I don't know why did it happen they randomly learned that and we also randomly learned that like once we came to playoffs I think uh, I think we did a podcast uh, with George and me, and I said that we are working on our tempo play and to play better as a team. And Impact mm. said they're doing exactly the same. And I could see it in playoffs. Like, they mm. actually improved a lot on that. And we did improve on that a lot as well. So I'm not saying you're on my region's culture. Shut up. both pretty strong teams. I do believe we are better mechanically, though. And if we play better mechanically today, we would win. I think we just underperformed. I don't think they did anything special. I think we were just worse. Time's up. Otherwise, you know, I'd have this conversation for you forever on a bunch of yeah. different topics. But media's, you know, checking. Yeah, I would in. be down to talk forever. <laughs> uh, what's your uh, message to the Fly Fam, who are proud of you for going to MSI? A little, little bummed that you yeah. didn't win, but proud of you going for MSI. Yeah, I mean, I'm not super sad we lost. I'm like fine with it because I'm still going to international tournament, which is like the the goal actually. Like I think if we go mm. there, uh, we will be able to improve a lot. And mm. going to planes, I'm always saying going to planes is actually an advantage for you because it's better to go. Okay, I mean, I didn't see it was alright. I don't know. It wasn't, to me, it wasn't that toxic. Obviously, he flamed Jensen a bit, but he also flamed himself. And he said they were just genuinely shit, so. He just needs to stop yapping. Like, everything he's saying, he would probably say to Jensen's face. It's just, he doesn't need to say it in an interview. He just needs to say it. In, he just needs to not say it in an interview. 